children, I am Jeeva. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Math with Jeeva. In this YouTube channel, you can find lessons both in single medium and English medium. So, it's a series of videos. After selecting a particular topic, we are planning to cover the concept from the very basic level up to the O-level standards. So, let's think there is a student who is watching this video after watching this video, you may think it's not for me because she explained very basic concepts. No, don't think like that because video 1, 2, 3, sometimes it's not for you. But after that, there may be lessons which is relevant for your uh, class. Or else, let's say you have done these concepts in your lower grades. You have uh, covered them well. You have understood them well. So, it's for you to revise them again. Right. There is another student, again, from upper classes. He is watching this video, but he has missed these concepts in his lower grades. So, it's time for you to understand them again. And there is another student who is watching this video. The content of the video is exactly similar to your class concepts. So, three of you can join with us to learn math concepts from the beginning up to the O-level standard. Right. Today, I am going to talk about with you area and perimeter. What is area? Perimeter? Are they similar to each other? Are there any differences? Before talking about area and perimeter and the technical jargons, I would like to tell you an example. Let's think I have a land, right? So I want to, uh, let's say, I'm a very environmental friendly person. I want to have grasses, so I want to, uh, because I want to have a greenish environment, so I want to buy grass carpets. So when I go to the grass carpet seller, obvious question will be, so how can we supply for you? That means he is asking about my requirement. So how can I tell? So uh, give me any amount of grass carpets. Can I tell like that? No, I should exactly tell what is the amount of, uh, so I want to tell what is the amount I want to buy. In other words, before going to the grass carpet seller, I want to have an idea what is the amount of space I want to cover with grasses. And another incident. Now, I want to have a fence around my land right i want to keep it in safe manner then i want to buy iron bars before going to the hardware because i know obvious question will be uh, how many meters you want then before going to the hardware i should have an idea the length i want to cover so that means so outer boundary how many meters i want to buy now, you may think she wanted to explain about area and perimeter. Now, she is talking about her land and what she wants to do with that land. So, yes, there is a re relationship between these two terms and my land. Why is that? Area is the amount of space covered by outer boundary of a 2D shape. So, it's the amount of space covered by boundaries of a 2D shape. Let's say 2D, a flat shape, two-dimensional shape. What are the examples? Rectangle, square, triangle, parallelogram, trapezium, circle, lot of shapes we have learned. So, out bounds, so boundaries covered. What is the amount of space covered by out boundaries? So that's the area. If so, this area term related to my grass carpet example O to the fence. Now tell me. Perimeter is the distance around the boundaries of 
of 2D shape? If so, now can you tell me? So why I need to have an idea about area of my land and why I need to have an idea about perimeter of my land? Can you tell me? Area is what? The amount of space covered by outer boundaries. And perimeter is what? The distance around the outer boundaries. Right. So now let's practice these two terms with examples. Today I am going to select rectangle for this. So children, what is a rectangle? Rectangle is a quadrilateral. What is that? Quadrilateral. What do you mean by a quadrilateral? Having four sides. Right? Having four sides. And what are the other features you can see in a rectangle? What are the other features you can see in a rectangle? So this is a rectangle. These opposite sides are equal in equal in size so the length right let's say if this is 10 centimeter let's say for an example so this should be 10 centimeters right that's one feature you can see in a rectangle another one let's say this is uh, 5 centimeters then this side should be 5 centimeter another feature can you see so these sides meet each other. What is the angle you can see? We call it right angle. Here, so these two sides, they meet each other. Then you can see right angle. So now I'm going to explain how to calculate the area and perimeter of this rectangle. So the formula you can use for that area equals to length into width right length into width right so what is the length here 10 centimeters and what is the width 5 centimeters then how do you write it 10 centimeters equal to 5 centimeters 10 times 5 it is 50 centimeter times centimeter squared centimeter ah, children the units of this centimeter length when you are measuring a length the units can be millimeters centimeters meters kilometers Units of area can be based on the area you had for the length and width. It can be squared millimeter, squared centimeter, squared meters, squared kilometers. Here I have centimeters, centimeters, the area 50 squared centimeter. So now can you understand how to find the area of a rectangular shape? Let's say my land is rectangular shape and it is, the length is 10 meters and the width is 5 meters. Then I want to cover with grasses the whole land. If so, how can I ask grass carpet from the grass carpet seller? I want to have 50 Squared meters, right? So that's how I go to the grass carpet seller and I'm going to buy the grass carpet. Now I know the amount of space covered by the boundaries of my rectangular shape land. It is 50 squared meters, right? Now let's go to the other term, perimeter. The same shape I am going to apply for that. So let's uh, talk about the same land. 10 meters length and this side also 10 meters. And here 5 meters and 5 meters. Now I want to find, I want to calculate 
perimeter. Children, what, what do you mean by perimeter? So, can you remember the fence example? I want to have a fence around my land. So, let's say I'm going to start from here and I want to cover this side and to this side and again I come to this side till I come to the point where I started my fence. That means the total distance which I want to go. Then perimeter is what? Perimeter is so here this one length plus I want to add them again width again length and again width. So I can write this how? L L so 2L L plus L 2L then width plus width 2W so how can I write this children? Yes, the common two I took out, then L plus. Uh. Now tell me, according to this formula, what will be the perimeter of my land? So L, 10, then how can I show that? So I write it like this, right? So 2 times 10 plus 5. So it is. 2 times 15, that is 30. And what are the units of perimeter? Tell me. So, L, meters. With meters, you add them together. And you multiply it by 2. Units should be, so I want to buy 30 meters from the hardware to have my fence. Right. So, hope everybody understood how to calculate the area of a rectangle and perimeter of a rectangle. So, hope everybody clear this. So, what are the units of area? It can be uh, millimeter squared, centimeter squared, meter squared, kilometer squared. It depends on the unit you had for your length and for width. And for perimeter, what can be the unit? Either millimeters, centimeters, meters or kilometers. Right. So now I am going to explain something which is similar to this. But right, it's like this. Okay, so children, here what can you see? Earlier I had a rectangle, now I have a square. Then what is the special feature of a square? All sides are equal in size, right? So let's say if this is uh, 5 centimeters, then this side should be 5 centimeters and this side should be 5 centimeter and this side should be 5 centimeter. Now tell me, let's say I am poor, I don't have that much of bigger land. So this is my land size. So let's go for the terms 5 meters. So, so let's do like this. It's 5 meters. Right, now tell me, how can I find the area of this? Again, the same formula you can apply, length into width. But children, now can you notice, length into width. Do we have a separate length side and a width side here? No, why? All sides are equal in size. So then, how can I write it? area here i don't have length into width instead i have 
length into length, that means the same length. So that means, uh, then how can I write it? 5 meter times 5 meters, then 25 squared meters, right? And how about the perimeter? It's like this. So perimeter, what is the formula? 2, earlier it should be L plus W, but here we don't have like that. So how can we do that? 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. In a square, then this should be what? 4 times L. So it should be 4 times 5. It is 20 meters, right. It's all about the area and the perimeter of rectangle and square, right. So this is the end of today's lesson. So we will meet again with the continuation. I told you it's a series of videos. So we will meet again with the area of triangles. Next lesson will be area of triangle. So see you children. So hope everybody understood and another thing. So if you feel I understood this lesson well, you can subscribe our channel as well as click the bell button to get the notifications about our future videos. Okay. See you children.